art rock. And I'm like, aha, uh -huh. classic rock. The ding, 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 <laughs> ding, 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 Indian rock. I forgot everything. At my age, it's either now or never, so. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mark Aaron Hudnall, and I'm from Los Angeles. I'm heavily influenced by the Eagles, uh, Jackson Brown, Neil Young. I'm really influenced by their ability to work with words. And so uh, I try to pack a lot of meaning into my songs. And that also shapes the music when you approach it like that. When I was a young man, 17, I started songwriting and I wasn't sure what I wanted to write about, you know, because you can only write so much about love. When you're 17, you, you don't know a whole lot about love, right? So I looked at the newspapers or topical subjects and I started to tackle subjects of empathy. I wanted to follow my heart and I did as much as I could. But I also got into other things like military and engineering and travel and airlines, you know, working on airplanes and stuff like that. I went down those roads and then I basically uh, wound up getting injured and being on disability and, and then I wound up returning to music. So I didn't play for 20 years. Oh, it was so hard. I forgot everything. I was, I was back to ding, 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 <laughs> ding, 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 ding. So anyway, I had to start all over again. You know, if you play piano eight hours a day, that's like eight hours of therapy. And, and I enjoy writing. If I'm having trouble with somebody um, being disingenuous with me, I will start to write a song. You know, and recently I wrote a song called Disingenuous Jack. So then I converted it into The Family Cat. It turned out really beautiful. I'm very happy with the sound. I wrote 50 pages of lyrics. It was like hypnotic. I couldn't stop working on it. And then finally it became the family cat and then I just explored all of that. Feel No Burn came to me all of a sudden. I was chopping downstairs in the kitchen and, and I like to talk to my food because I believe everything has, has uh, a spirit. You know, like if I'm cooking, feel no burn. Chopping, uh, feel no pain. Like a prayer. But when I was doing that, the music also came to me at the same time. And then I had all these ideas for creating a video, but I, I thought, how could I make them work? You know, I've never done a video before. But then I was sitting in the restaurant and all of a sudden I had like a flash of, of, of e emotions. And I saw the whole video inside of about three minutes. And I'm like, aha, uh -huh. now that's a video I can film. That's something I can work with. It felt like the universe wanted it. You know, the, the universe was so ready for that to happen. And so everything just fell together. I hope that my viewers will find my music fun, uh, something they can dance to, but at the same time, find enough depth in the words and the emotions. I'm writing about some very sad subjects sometimes. But the music, interestingly enough, is very happy sounding at the same time. But that's what an artist is supposed to do, transform. So we, we take that stuff that's really heavy, that's weighing us down, and we transform it, transform it like a Rubik's Cube until finally the outcome is something which is uplifting emotionally, spiritually. And uh, we feel transformed by going through the process of creating, and that's why we do it.